Sir Valkamer, let's watch your Diablo replay. Uh, biggest thing of note, you don't want to go too deep when you run out of souls. Uh, you're not that uh, tanky. You will just die against better comps if you just queue in. I mean, it's good you lined up the wall stun, but I mean, look at the damage you did to a Muradin. And the good news is, the Uther is way, way over aggressive. But even then, look, you lost almost all your life. So it was a fair exchange in terms of, like, you know, HP trade. Um, back, just back, you, you lost, you know over two-thirds of your life, just back, or tap. Like, because if you tap right away, you'll have tap back up in time for objective. Like, you're not accomplishing anything by just sitting here, so you may as well just hearth. Uh, also, throw fire stomps out, because, again, you want healing, and this heals. Like, early game, fire stomps should just never be on cooldown, unless you have a specific reason. Because if they're just sitting 3, 4, 5 mid, it's free. This is good, this is a kill, or it should be a kill. Wow, he walked away. You almost died too, unfortunate. Uh, your team really let you down there. That should have been an easy Uther kill. Um, other note, you have to kind of stand up further to get souls. If you don't feel you can do that safely against uh, Mephisto, Go to another lane. Because, yeah, you're not really doing anything here. Yeah. So I kind of like walking up if you had more life. Uh, as it is, you kind of get tanked out. Again, just hearth. Tapping. See, so you tap, but there's like... Again, what are you accomplishing by just staying here? You're probably not going to get a pick, and you're just tanking a lot of free damage. I really... Yeah, just move to another lane, or hurt. This KT should also be dead. He's just playing way too far up. The other thing you can do is, uh, like I said, just spam fire stomps and then sit and let the uh, wave push in. With randos, it's harder to do. Okay, 100% your, your only play here is to hope the Uther gets a little aggressive and E and Q him into tower range and body block him. Otherwise, yeah, what you're doing is correct. And so right here, I would mount and then see if I can EQ. Because if you if he stands up here and doesn't get out of the way and you hit the EQ, he's either dead or going to leave at like 10-20% and have to back or tap. Because there's only one minion. Now, not not quite as much, but again, you're still not in tower range, so if you grab him, yeah, now it doesn't work. But yeah, you gotta be looking actively for, like, EQ here. And if you don't get it, you don't get it, but it's, like, your only real threat to Uther. And it's also a real one, unlike against other heroes. Uh, so fun note on Ultrac, it's such a big map and also because of the swamp pits that like if you just hearth you will get here only a few seconds later than you normally would by mounting and running although i haven't clocked it since the uh mount changes or the movement changes so maybe that's not as true anymore but also just because i mean having full health is good uh your team is trying to defend but going real hard uh you can't be here you need to just go if you wanted to like soak the wave you should have just stayed bot and like fire stomped and hit the wave and then hearthed uh because then you would have gotten souls and the wave and you would be at full health for this instead you're going in you're below half health already so this is dangerous um you want to stay in this area and look for a Q. Like, Q on Uther would be great. You're less interested on in going in. Although, the Lunar is a good one because you can't quite solo kill her yet, but you can get a lot of damage in. Did you get the auto there? 
and see. Yeah, you got the auto. Um, auto W this way immediately instead of walking back is probably better. Just because, again, you want the W out with as much life as possible. So hopefully you will stay alive for when they come back. Because that's where you're going to gain the most health. You could have also, when you walk this way, E'd the Lunara. And that would give you another trigger on Feast on Fear. And put her in a much worse position. Uh, your backline needs help, though. I don't know how much you can help. Just because you don't have that much life. Uh, you, you're going to have tap. So yeah, you correctly do that. You still need to wait a sec. But your all rack kind of forces the issue here. That's a good Q. That's a good E. Strande, 100% should be dead. Yep, dies. So yeah, that was all good. That part was all good. Again, Fire Stomp. Just throw out Fire Stomp. You have full mana. It's only 35 mana. It's on a short cooldown. That was good. That was good. Again, Fire Stomp. If you want to also, you can walk over here and throw Fire Stomp over here. That way you guys get some vision. And you might get another soul or two. Because remember, that's the big thing. If you don't need the healing with your level 4, you're getting souls. And the sooner you get to 100 souls, the better. Okay, back up. Back up a sec. Okay. Uh, so they know you're here. They hit your stun. You want to just queue out here. Because look at where your team is. It gets, not only does queuing Muradin get you away from them, it puts them in a prime position where your team can follow up and potentially kill them. Especially if this dude, ah, he used all his buttons. God damn quick match players. Uh, but Alrak, Alrak has his buttons up. Yeah, if he gets a good combo and they get follow up, uh, he's dead. So yeah, just something to look for. You can also, if you want to be tricky, you can queue into the Uther. Flipping is normally okay, but the problem is they're also close to you. And, again, your team is in a position where they can get a kill off it. Assuming they don't blow all their buttons for free. Again, Fire Stomp, Fire Stomp, Fire Stomp. This keeps you alive. You have to be just spamming Fire Stomps in these fights. Alright, now you want to back. Because you don't have a tap up and you have no HP. You want to back. Valk, please back. Valk, what are you doing, man? So, that was a good play. If you had life. Like, yeah, hanging out in this area and looking for a charge flip is totally fine. But when you're at, like, a thousand life or less, it's not. Because you just die for free. Instead of telling your team to stall for a bit. And now your team, they can just run in on them. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, just... You are a very bad hero if you are low on life. Especially when you don't have souls. In this case, you have a reasonable number of souls, but yeah. Okay, um... So you guys are clearing bot, it looks like. This is all fine. It's all whatever. Yep, get over there. Fire stomp. EQ. Yep, it's good, good, good. This is all fine. Get them souls. Rotate up. Rotating all the way top seems like a spew. Either the Alarak is going to get out on his own, or he's not. Like, you aren't, you guys aren't in a good position to turn this. If you wanted to try and flank around, then you all have to go here, or go here. And hopefully the Alarak gets away, and then when they come through, you just get them out of the bush. <laughs> KT almost dies. That's rough. Um, Rag dies doing something. Of course he does. 
Alright, again, we're just focusing on you. You have your souls. Being solo laner Diablo is never fun. It's not necessarily wrong here. Your team is just kind of inting from how it looks. Um, it's not a lot else you can do here. That is risky. But you didn't get punished very much. Again, especially with 100 souls, you can be a lot riskier. You just have the life to burn. Okay, you have a bot Lucio. That's not fun. This is good. Anchoring the bush is good. Okay, are they coming in? Are they fighting? Now that they know you're here, I would actively like be looking around here and fire stomping just for vision. Because ideally, unless they're morons and they come here, you want to be in this area so that way you can try and shout charge here. That's your angle. Your new chow charge angle is to like hit this corner. Yeah, Murden came in. So you want to be walking here and not here. That way you can queue into here. So ideally, what you do is you pop APOC or you walk here first and you pop APOC. You queue him here. You get the auto. You fire stomp. And then you can either EM or walk up and potentially eat one of these guys um that's more important when you have devastating charge for the most part because then you can start to look for either major chunking or kills on your own but even then it's a good initiator to your team uh they should be just running up on these guys right now because they see the murden and now they even see uther Instead, they're just playing really passive, and you're taking a lot of free damage as a result. Fire Stomp. Again, Fire Stomp. You need the, you want the healing, you need the healing. It's a low cooldown. This guy's dead. There's no point in queuing in after. As soon as he gets hit by Durance, you need to, like, hit all your buttons to try and, like, save him. And your team needs to do something. So... Once they're already on him and he's taking damage, especially because he couldn't pop sound barrier right away it looked like, or just didn't, there's nothing you can do. This is just a free kill for them if they're not bad. Yeah, they just stun chain you and kill you. Yeah. And that's really bad because you lose all your souls now, and now you're just a giant pincushion. So, it's okay to let the NT players die. That was good. The biggest thing is Diablo when playing on these objectives is you want to generally look for angles here and here because you can see it's a little curved in. So you can hit weird angles like from here and hit it sideways and it still goes through. Whereas sometimes if you do it on this, they'll slide off, which is the dumbest thing. But that's Diablo in a nutshell. Sometimes you'll... Hit a shower charge that looks really nice, and it won't hit, and you'll look very stupid, and you'll be way out of position. Alright, let's, let's slow down a bit. Sound barrier gets popped. <laughs> you guys aren't running, though. Like, going? You, you can't do that, Valk. You gotta just hope the minions do it. You gotta be actually just tanking up here. Uh, if you're going to Q Tarant, that's fine, but you have to insta-E. Because you have to get her behind with the other support. Uh, I also just don't think that was a great call. If you're going to do something, you want to get this Uther stuck in the mud as much as you can. So you guarantee the kill. Again, not a great E. It gives you life, but the problem is now he's on the right side. So if they have a stun available, then... They potentially walk out here. Or if they had, say, Divine Shield up. Or even the other one, the stun one, same thing. They just stun all of you and walk away. Yeah, and they walk... E even without all that, they walk away. And they get a kill. This is a uh, full Fiesta now, so all you can really do is Fire Stomp and walk away. Like, you want Fire Stomp and walk here. Just... 
Uh, so number one thing I would tell you, fire stomp more, a lot more. This is good, he's an idiot. No, okay, so if you Q into him, body block. Body block in tower range is more important than securing the first auto. You want to position ahead of time and then start autoing. Because that would have been another tower shot, at, at minimum. Pressing affairs deserve my attention. The Alliance is taking control of our fear. Yep, this is correct. You need souls. You need them badly. What's your build? Your full fire build? That's a little weird. Okay, so big thing. Fire build, one, you have to be actually throwing out fire stomps. Like, a lot more than you are. Second thing. Uh, it's generally used against a bunch of frontliners, which, I mean, granted they have Mur Ur Muradin and Uther. Not, not Ufer. Um... But I mean, like, Mephisto, Lunara, you're getting, like, minimal value out of Tehran, too, but she generally wants to be closer, so that's fine. But when their two main DPS are generally going to be poking you from a distance, you're going to get a lot less value out of that. The other big thing is if you go normal charge build, uh, Lunara has a lot to be scared of because later in the game when you stack, you can one-shot her. And if not one-shot her, deal 70 to 80% of her life. And, uh... Either your team can follow up, or she has to run away. Tyrande is in kind of the same boat. Mephisto less so, but also... If you have 100 souls late game, you can also just walk up QE when his soul returns. And then, again, you, you're still relying on your team to follow up. But, I mean, you can basically shove him out of position. Uh, especially when you get domination. And then your team has a free kill, because he has no escape. You die, there's not much you guys can do. You just these fights are just not good. And I even Taking out our cavalry. That's the problem. People don't understand. Like uh, outside of devastating charge, like Diablo really relies on his team for follow-up, and you your team is not positioned in such a way to get follow-up. And they're also just in team. And that was an int for me, but again, I don't think it matters. Um, I watched the rest of this replay, and there's not much else to talk about. The biggest things that you need to really go over are just... One, as always, position more for shower charges. On this map specifically, that means you want to be here, so you can line up here. You want to hide in this bush to get these. Um, for objectives, you can be here and look for hits here. You can be here in this area and look for people going in an objective. The worst place you can be is here and look, because there's almost no way to get a queue. Half the time, if I queue here to here, I will either misjudge the distance and it won't connect, or I'll misjudge it and it'll slide and the enemy will end up here, and I'll be here, and I'll be dead. On this side, very similar thing. This is a great spot to be in. This is a great spot to be in. This and this, if you're trying to uh, zone out this area, is good. You can also anchor this bush. And the mudslide, again, if you're here, it's actually really hard to get a, a charge in. Uh, so if you're trying to stop this area, then you want to be here. Like, if you want to cover this and this, be here. It's a little more forward, but you can fire stomp for vision. And if you're in this corner, if they try and walk by you, either way, you can get a free queue every time. And if you're level 16, you can E and get the second Q as long as you do it quick enough. And again, that one shot squishies when you're stacked up. Second thing, take advantage of your fire stomps. You don't do it nearly enough, especially if you're going the fire stomp build. Uh, that's the big thing. And the third thing is just, and again, in if you're in quick match, which this is, it's really hard to get players to go along with it. Just tell your team to follow up on targets, specifically if you play Diablo in comp or scrim or whatever. Um, that's about it. I don't think you played this badly at all. I think there are just some things you could work on that would have optimized. Oh, and the other thing is just, yeah, if you're not doing anything in the earlier mid game, and even it, just hearth, hearth back. <laughs> you're just a meat shield early if you don't have uh, the team to follow up on your pick attempts. Or if you just don't have good pick attempts. So all you're doing is being a soul bot early. 
All you want to do is get souls and hit people with fire stomps. And so it's perfectly okay to just hearth back. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.